that's okay. I meant to because um, I, things are going really well now, uh -huh. and I wanted to let you know. Oh, well, that's great. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm really anxious to Good. see something. But listen, Good. you should sit down because I'm here with Susan right now. And she's, she's dying to meet you, so it's so funny bumping into you. <laughs> Have a seat. Susan Orlean is here? Yeah, she's, she's here in, in town for reading or something. Anyway, she's just on the phone. Sit down, have a seat. She's she's dying to meet you. Oh, um, um, well, I I should I should probably go, um, uh, because well, I'd, I'd love to meet her too. Uh -huh. Um, but I I don't want to be beholden, and and, uh -huh. and well, because once you meet somebody that you've already been writing about, uh -huh. it becomes very hard to separate. Uh -huh. So, well, okay, well, I'll, I'll speak to you soon, and I'm almost done. Okay. I'm almost done, okay. and please tell Susan that I, that I would love to uh, meet with her at a future date, uh -huh. as she sees fit. Okay. Who am I kidding? This is not Susan Orlean's story. I have no connection with her. I can't even meet her. I can't meet anyone. I have no understanding of anything outside of my own panic and self-loathing and pathetic little existence. It's like the only thing I'm actually qualified to write about is myself and my own self. We open on Charlie Kaufman, fat, old, bald, repulsive, sitting in a Hollywood restaurant across from Valerie Thomas, uh, a, a lovely statuesque film executive, Kaufman, uh, trying to get a writing assignment, wanting to impress her. Sweats profusely. Fat, bald, Kaufman paces furiously in his bedroom. He speaks into his handheld tape recorder and he says, Charlie Kaufman, fat, bald, repulsive, old, sits at a Hollywood restaurant with Valerie Thomas. Kaufman, repugnant, ridiculous, jerks off to the book jacket photo of Susan Orlando. Clark, what do you want? I finished my script. I'm done. So would you show it to your agent? It's called The Three. Thanks. I also want to thank you for your idea. It was very helpful. I changed it a little. Now the killer cuts off body pieces and, and makes his victims eat them. It's kind of like Caroline has this great tattoo of a snake swallowing its own tail. And a burrows. I don't know what that means. The snake, it's called Ouroboros. I don't think so. But anyway, it's cool for my killer to have this modus operandi, because at the end, when he forces the woman who's really him to eat herself, he's also eating himself to death. I'm insane. I'm Ouroboros. I don't know what that word means. I've written myself into my screenplay. That's kind of weird, huh? It's self-indulgent. It's narcissistic. It's solipsistic. It's pathetic. I'm pathetic. I'm fat and pathetic. I'm sure you had good reasons, Charles. You're an artist. The reason is because I'm too timid to speak to the woman who wrote the book. Because I'm pathetic. Because I have no idea how to write. Because I can't make flowers fascinating. Because I suck. Hey, am I in the script? I'm going to New York. I'll meet her. That's it. That's what I have to do. Don't get mad at me for saying this, Charles. But Bob's having a seminar in New York this weekend. So if you're stuck... And she said, oh, LaRoche is such a fun character. No shit, I'm a fun character. Who's gonna play me? Oh, well, I've got to write the book first, John, and then, you know, if they get somebody to write the screenplay. Hey, I think I should play me. <laughs> Most people yearn for something exceptional, something so inspiring that they'd want to risk everything for that passion, but few would act on it. But it's very powerful. And it's intoxicating to be around someone so alive. Come on, just follow me. They're right nearby. Can I ask you a personal question? Look, we're not lost. I've done this a million times. When everything's killing me, I just say, screw it, and go straight ahead. <laughs> <laughs>